Good morning friends, thanks for joining us. Here's a quick video on creating student accounts in Think Through Math. First thing you're going to do is go to lms.thinkthroughmath.com, put in your username and your password. Your dashboard will look a little different than mine. And let's add a student. Now this is for administrators at the campus level. So let me get to a particular campus. I'll click Peach Creek. And to add a student, all you're going to do is find the teacher where the student needs to be added. Let's say in this case, Ms. Brewers. Click on Add Student. And you're just going to fill out this information here first name last name I use the student's ID number here I skip this make sure the grade is correct make sure the student is active and then click Save now let's just do one together we'll put this guy in the let's just say he's algebra 1 that might not work since it's an elementary campus. Let's go third grade. And everything else is good. We're going to say save. Now, what's interesting is when we get to that student and we go looking for him, you see Demo Dale is right here. His username and password are different from all the other kids because he was added after the fact. Most of these are student IDs and the password cats. So right after you create the account, what you want to do is come over here to edit and then just change that information. We can change his username to this number right up here, usually leaving off the zero. One, two, three. Whoop. Get this out of there. One, two, three, four, five. And changing this information to cats. Save again. And in this case, it looks like there's a real student with the username 12345. Uh, obviously, that wouldn't have happened if we'd used the student's ID. Um, in the event that it does happen, though, you may have to change username to 12345A or put a zero in front of or at the end of it. Um, but that's how you do that, so it will fit um, the nomenclature of all the other students, and they'll have the same password. Hope that helps.